All right, my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Deadly Permission 2. Last time, we kind of figured out... That was random. Um, a lot of the mysteries that we were missing... That Patty's the last living descendant. They're trying to kill Patty. Patty's the daughter is an incest baby. And that's what you can't make. There's a lot of crap going. You don't have what I'm looking Thanks, for. Thanks, Miss. Okay. Next and time. So we're kinda at a weird part part of the game. Um the reason why I'm confused right now is because the game threw me a curveball and I'm trying to figure that out. So the question is, is what do we do now? Well, the game says we need to get a hot liquid sun drink. Well, my first thought was go to the owl's nest at, when it opens to get a, a, some liquor. But, I was messing around trying to kill time a little bit. And on the skateboard on occasion, we'll say something to you. Which he will say. Come on. Caffeine, Zach. We need caffeine, full of energy. Just like that blazing sun. That's what we need to refresh our brains. What do you say? Let's kick back and enjoy some good old fashioned coffee. Why is she? Not in the Zack, it appears let's come closed. Okay. When is it open again? Seven. Man. Alright, so let's try this again. But correctly. So we're gonna go to the diner first. Oh my lord! You sure look pooped, honey! Hello, Alexis. Yes, someone did quite the number on me. Must have given you one heck of a shiner. Well, let me get you some coffee so you can relax, honey. Yes, that's it, Alexis. Just what I was waiting for. Would it be possible to get an especially pungent cup? Smoldering with all the heat of the southern sun? Coming right up! No. Mrs. Carpenter been doing Mrs. Carpenter things? <laughs> Again? Huh? Where? In the coffee? <laughs> Zach, look. <laughs> hey, I remember that. Patty. No, Melvin. No. My lord, what are you trying to do? Wake the dead? What's wrong, honey? Everything's hanging at once. Where is this boathouse located? Oh, my lord, what's going on with you? Your poor voice is positively trembling. Just tell me, where is this boathouse located? Uh, there's lots of boathouses around these parts, honey. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, then, can you at least tell me when this photo was taken? Looks to me like it was taken during the Clarks and Campbell wedding party when PJ married his ex-wife, Audrey. There was a building this tall in town back then? Oh, you know what? That must be the cold storage warehouse. That big billboard on the roof is the Clarksons, see? I bet you'd be able to get a great view of all the boathouses in the swamp from up there. 
Thank you. That's all the info I need. Would you mind if I borrowed this? Shoot, of course not, honey. <laughs> Thanks for your help. And keep the change. <gasps> oh, my lord. Huh? Why are you in on this, Carpenter? I've got a bad feeling that this may become a, a full DP1 moment towards the end. And I'm wondering if we're actually at the end itself. Which, then again, I've kind of steamrolled this game. I don't like you. Oh, I don't like you right now. Alright, see you guys at 8. Alright. I wonder what... 341? You said... The billboard. Do you think Patty's okay? She no. acts strong, but it seemed like she was deeply distraught. Where did Melvin disappear to? The same goes for her mother, Candy. We never even got a chance to meet her mother. Did they get swallowed up into the Clarkson's vortex as well? We need to hurry, Zach. As of now, Patty could be in danger. Can't Why stop moving until there? we find the source to all this That means chaos. somebody's here. Danny? What is Danny doing here? Oh, it's you. Hmm. I, I reckon I owe you an apology for how I was acting before. I think I get what you meant now. You'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power. Oh, those words woke me up. I need to get myself together or I'll sink. And you saved me. <laughs> so, uh, thanks. Now this is a surprise, Zack. Can a human being really turn themselves around this quickly? Hey, come on, don't say that. I was drunk, you know. I lost my baby girl, my wife, then my father-in-law. I, I didn't know what to do. Blaming it all on someone else was the only way I knew how to cope. All right? What are you here for, anyway? Thought you already investigated this place. I'd like to get your permission to climb up to the roof. Right up to that hideous sign there. Oh, is that all? Well, go on ahead. But I know you're a genius agent. And if you need to go up there, then by all means. Danny, I'm not a genius. I'm a complete failure. I never even gave a single thought to P.J. Clarkson's first daughter. I was practically oblivious the entire time. I never considered the possibility that Lena had a child either, and that misstep cost us many sacrifices. But you know all about it now, right? Then just move on. You figured out that it was Galena who murdered Lise, and that Galena was being manipulated by Lena. You proved that my treasure wasn't evil after all. It may have cost us a lot of sacrifices, but... That still makes you a genius agent. And that's how I know I can trust you. Now, I don't care if you're FBI. I'm still gonna come clean and say it. Whoever killed my treasure is gonna pay. I wanna track him down, then kill him with my own hands. But, I'm a Clarkson too. So I made up my mind. All Clarkson's got a job to do. Yeah, we're definitely getting towards the end of the game before having this many revelations and Which one is it, Zack? Patricia must be in the boathouse we saw in that photograph. Along with Melvin and Candy, the goddess of fertility. What I saw at Alexis's restaurant. Not only was my mind still reeling, but the oracle was also rather vague. But so what, Zack? 
We just need to find the same boathouse that we saw in that picture. There's got to be another singularity inside it. There it is. Zack, that's the boathouse. It's right where the photograph was taken. But I have no idea how we're supposed to reach it. Take. Zach, it looks like we have no choice but to head back to the starting line. Let's go and see the one who fired the pistol at Heaven. He should be able to transport us straight to that boathouse. Remember, his love for justice is so strong that he chased a poacher's boat all the way up the bayou. I'm sure he'll be happy to help us. Zack, stop and just imagine it for a moment. Chuck's face. Once he hears that poacher's boat is actually a shrine housing the goddess of fertility. <laughs> What's in this if it's kitchen table? What? I wonder if that's candy. What's this? At least forever? Who left this message for her? Zack, you know what? I forgot all about our ten-foot giant. We still have a lot of work left to do in this town. Huh. The Thompson farm, though. Avery? Zach, there's the biggest man we've seen in town thus far. Let's talk to him just in case. I think he's irrelevant. Hello there, Avery. I need your help. Would you mind raising your arms up high like this for me? Raise my arms? Like this? <clears throat> Thank you. That's perfect. It appears that even with your height, you'd have a tough time reaching a spot up that high. I love Lise. Yup. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> but Lise got cold. <laughs> Lise turned white. My, my poor sunlight wouldn't move no more. <laughs> Avery, I understand how you feel. I'm sure that Lise does too. <laughs> really? Oh yes, I guarantee it. Right now, I'm trying to eliminate the cause of her death, but I need your assistance. If you ever see a man who looks taller and stronger than you, I want you to let me know. I will. You bet I will. <laughs> Aw. Dude made me feel bad for him. Alright, so we're supposed... It is just right there, but I don't know. That's such. Hey, want to talk about bridges? No, I don't. I've become obsessed with bridges, Zach. And... I was hoping you'd give me something else. That's bridges. Yes, I'm going this way on purpose so I can just take the wyvern over there. Oh, wyvern's over here. So it is interesting that the ten foot giant can't still exist, but I'm wondering if the giant woman is ten foot tall. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were. Alright, I'm gonna done talk. I didn't talk. I wonder who's at the frozen place. I guess Avery. Thank God.
Hello, Chuck. The time has finally come to catch that poacher's boat you spoke of. Uh oh. Oh, now he wants to catch the boat. Thought you FBI boys don't chase down boats. Ain't that what you said? Unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our country? You're exactly right, Chuck. I discovered that boat does contain perpetrators who are potentially capable of overthrowing our country. Perpetrators who are deeply connected to a new drug called San Rouge. And you expect me to help you? Yes, I need your help. <clears throat> I see you got the balls to match just how big a goddamn prick you are. Poachers can fuck with my form all they want, but the moment drugs get involved, all of a sudden you're raring to go. Uh -uh. Guess what? I don't give a shit. Uh-uh. I can't solve this case without your help, Chuck. If you're angry about how I acted earlier, then please allow me to apologize. I don't want no apology. Then how can I get you to trust me? You really don't know when to shut up, do ya? Nope. Oh no. As you can see, I'm busy here. So if you're done harassing me, then uh... Chuck, that was amazing. Absolutely incredible, fantastic. How did you do that? Uh, thanks? I don't know. The answer lies in his physical advantage. That's it, Zack. Your stance when you toss makes all the difference. I'm sorry, what? I can't get over how beautiful his stance was. Just what am I missing? Do you like skipping stones? You know, I always trust a man who knows how to skip good. See, the key to skipping is how close your arm is to the water when you throw. You also need accurate speed, an accurate wrist snap, and accurate timing when you let go. Oh my guess, I have to play the mini game to beat him. That's why short folk who stay low to the ground and keep a low profile like me can skip better. And that's how I reckon I can trust a man who knows what skipping's all about. Got it? If you want my help, you gotta impress me with your skipping. I hate this game. Then I'll lend you my boat. Oh, get a score of over five. Can I play here? Oh. Okay. Hot damn. Woo -wee. What? You're a natural. That was flawless skipping, all right. Really? Oh, yeah. You got talent, boy. And you're humble, too. Well, I did have a great teacher. That's what helped me to stay low. Yep. That's the key. Gotta keep low profile. Folks can learn a lot about life from stone skipping. We can? Feller's gotta stay humble. Keep himself from getting all arrogant. Know what I mean? Nope. Okay, maestro. I trust you now. I'll take you into the swamp or wherever the hell else you wanna go. Wanna shove off now? Well, we gotta once. make hay while the sun shines. Let's head over to my boat. Follow me, maestro. <laughs> How did... Ma <laughs> Let's go. Skip says this way. Oh, I just need to talk to the boat. Okay. We gotta go around a bit to get to your boat house. It ain't the safest route out there. So just be ready. What? Zach, this is exhilarating. It's like an amusement park ride, only better. Hold on tight now, Maestro! This is yet another reminder about just how vast and varied our homeland of America is. Wait, what? What is this? 
off. What? Okay, this isn't bad, but... I reloaded a bad time. It feels weird playing on a controller and just with one stick to shoot. It's bothering me. We do it? Oh, thank you. I'm glad that's over. Hey, I got all of it? Oh, wait, there's more than that. 